Hey guys, this week we are going to uh, head up to a Forest Service cabin, which are speckled all over Southeast Alaska. And you can get onto the uh, Forest Service website and you can view how many cabins are actually out there. So there's some on the beach, there's some up at lakes, there's some in the woods. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. They sleep four to six, most of them. Some of them are bigger or smaller, but uh, they have a bunks. Most of them have a wood stove and cut firewood ready to go. So we're gonna go spend the night up there uh, north of Ravilla Uh Just relax. We're gonna throw a couple of pots out there, just have a nice evening away. And uh, you know, I, I have to apologize for the beauty behind me. Uh, but that's what it is up here. Every corner, every cove is a little different. So we're just going to enjoy the evening. No uh, rush to do anything. video this week is just about taking a break and relaxing. This is an opportunity in the winter for us to get out and just get away. Um, we don't get to do that in the summer a lot because we're fishing so much. But uh, yeah, just enjoy the scenery as we go up here and the sounds and everything the rainforest has to offer. So around the uh, Ravilla Gagato Islands, all the way around, there's buoys placed by the state that you're welcome to use on, as a boater. So it's relatively the same as RV down south, where you go from park to park to park. You can do that here, but you're just in a boat, enjoying different scenery every day. It's just uh, two different, two different worlds. So on the way out uh, to the cabin, we're gonna go ahead and drop some crab pots. Usually we bring some, some type of gear when we go and do a stay over somewhere uh, to get some seafood. I think you saw in one of our earlier videos, the crabbing video, that we're here just after the commercial crabbing season. So a lot of the crabs are just undersized, but you know, it's more entertainment value, something to do up here. So we're gonna throw them out and see what happens. It goes right from uh, like 120 feet, just almost straight up and it flattens out. I kinda wanna grab that flat spot right there. All right, we finally made it to Anchor Pass. Uh, it's the Anchor Pass Forest Service cabin. There's a lot of Forest Service cabins just like this. Um, we picked Anchor Pass. It's a nice cove in here and out of the wind and uh, it's a beautiful day. So we're gonna pull up, we're gonna transfer our gear off onto the beach, make sure there's no brown bears walking around and uh, get set up inside. Yeah, you think that gravel area? Or right I was, what I was gonna do is see that little cut right there where the barnacles are at? Yeah. That little V, I was gonna see what that looked like. If it's good traction, not slippery. That's what I'm worried about. If it is, I, I can go right over there. That's okay. not a problem. I didn't know if you guys are ready. I gotta kick my motors up and put the kicker down. Okay. What are you doing, Mr. Otter? He gone. So we will try to do this if we get in there as fast as possible. I don't have a lot of power backing up, so give me enough notice if you see a rock. Okay. It might be easier to go right there for him. I don't know. Hey. 
Okay, you're almost there, Mark. Guess he's watching. How's the ladder looking? It's okay. Close, real close. You're there. Do what you just first. Toss him. The solitude once we reach these cabins is amazing. Um, there's nobody around for miles. It's uh, approximately 40 miles by boat uh, to this cabin. So we're out of ways. Uh, no real populations in the winter time. Nobody out and about besides maybe some commercial fishermen. But it's nice to be out. Nice to take a break when we can. So it's always the last guy on the boat has to row the dinghy to shore after tying up to a buoy. So we voted and uh, Mark got the short straw. Every time I come to one of these cabins, I think of Dick Pernacki and what he went through to scratch out an existence and a survival of the Twin Lakes in Alaska. If you haven't read that story or seen the videos that he produced back in the 60s and early 70s, they're, they're amazing. Um, he was definitely a pioneer at this. The things he must have seen and, and heard and learned while he was out there on, on his own uh, has always impressed me. Pretty basic cabin, but most of them are. Just a couple of bunks and a wood stove, a piece of plywood on the wall for a countertop. And that's about all you get. A little table. What else do you need? So we got all settled in the Anchor Pass cabin and just out walking through the woods, checking things out. A um, lot of cedars, a lot of spruce here, but you can tell this is a uh, full-on rainforest. I grew up in the coast range of Oregon, and it's nothing like this. This is just layers and layers of moss and trees. The stump here has been cut down and it's cool to see the cedar roots just wrapping around it and taking it back. It's just an amazing place. Uh, every time I come out, I see something new or different. Um, I, I love it out here. Our channel's called Alaskan Waters. And I chose that because everything we do in Southeast Alaska has something to do with water, be it salt water or fresh water, all life is supported through it. <laughs> and I almost went in, that kayak was fully on the edge. And I was like, no, 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 no. And it came back. <laughs> oh, phew. That would have been awesome. It would have been cold <laughs> is what it would have been. Middle of the night. So we just got up, 
we're gonna head over and pick our crab pots up. And see if we uh, got any Dungeness crab this morning, and we'll take that back and have it for dinner. there and you put it there it's wiggling almost you can feel it wiggle you don't want any wiggle no nope. next year buddy That's how they're supposed to be like that, feisty, fighters. It's always wise to throw an extra mountain house in your bag <laughs> when you're out uh, camping and wanting to rely on seafood for dinner. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. So we didn't, didn't get much on this trip, but we had a great time. <laughs>